everybody wants to know why they are as they are. And several decades ago, we knew very little about the causes of birth defects. And I thought that we could do something meaningful for these patients. I'm a clinician who cares for patients with birth defects. And in seeing those patients, that drives some of the important questions we try to answer in our laboratory. From a medical perspective, it's very important to know the cause of their birth defects so that we can better tailor our management and treatment. Earlier on, we had very little knowledge or technology to try to determine the causes in these patients. And as new technologies developed, we could apply them. We're able to investigate at the cellular level or molecular level what are the causes. And we're beginning to integrate all this information using system biology, gathering billions of pieces of data point and with high sequencing technology. We are able to look at every single base pair of DNA, their genetic information, and try to determine the cause. We probably can identify the cause in over 30% of patients now. One of the most rewarding things is that we're able to give an answer to a patient, a diagnosis. In many cases, that really is the end to some of their lifelong searches to determine why they have their birth defect. But also, it's the beginning of an odyssey because in knowing what they have, we can try to tailor our management and treatment to that patient. We have been able to do precision medicine for many rare birth defects and actually impact future generations that have the same birth defect.